There are various variations of squats, such as using one's own body weight, incorporating extra weights like dumbbells or a barbell on the shoulders, and even executing squat jumps. Nevertheless, the conventional way of squatting is the most common, where individuals position their legs slightly wider than shoulder width apart and descend until their thighs reach a parallel position with the floor. Squats engage a vast array of muscles throughout the body, but the hips and buttocks are the primary muscles that come to mind. Essentially, half of the body is activated during squats. As a result, you'll notice an improvement in all these muscles, including your legs and abs. Squats can contribute to muscle growth and will accentuate your muscles, leading to visible differences. This is why before and after photographs of individuals who have incorporated squats into their fitness routines showcase dramatic transformations. Unlike running and cycling, which have limited effects on muscle growth, squats are known to have a considerable impact on one's appearance. Hence, individuals who commit to squatting daily, especially those who haven't exercised regularly in the past, can witness significant changes in their physique within just a month, which can be observed in a side-by-side -side comparison of their before and after pictures. Another notable benefit of squats is weight loss, as daily squatting involves substantial physical activity that boosts the body's calorie consumption and accelerates metabolism. As a result, individuals who incorporate squats into their fitness routine not only build muscle, but also achieve a more toned and lean appearance by shedding excess body fat. Squats provide another critical benefit by improving blood circulation and enhancing the cardiovascular system. This exercise increases the tone of the heart muscle and improves blood flow to both the heart and peripheral areas. Additionally, squats can significantly enhance venous blood circulation in the lower body since it involves working with the legs. Squats also aid in improving posture, provided that they're executed using the correct technique with a straight back and a slight curve in the lower back. Since squats strengthen the muscles of the lower back, they can significantly improve posture. Another benefit of squats is an increase in endurance, as they have a profound impact on the respiratory system, enhancing lung capacity and teaching us how to control and coordinate our breathing effectively. When performing squats, we breathe in as we descend and exhale as we rise. This principle is fundamental to any strength training regimen, where exertion occurs during exhalation and relaxation during inhalation. As a result, squats can be advantageous for enhancing overall endurance and respiratory health. Regular squats can also significantly enhance the mobility of your hips and ankles. If your knee and lower back pain is the result of a sedentary lifestyle, squats executed with the proper technique may help alleviate the discomfort. Squats engage not only the legs, but also the core, which refers to the muscles of the abdomen and lower back. Additional weights can further strengthen these areas. Nonetheless, squatting with a barbell on your shoulders is a risky exercise that should only be undertaken under the supervision of a qualified instructor or an experienced athlete who can demonstrate proper form and correct any errors. However, less hazardous variations, such as squat jumping, can effectively tone the core. This is because these squats require the engagement of the body's stabilizing muscles during the motion, resulting in a stronger core. A robust core can be valuable in reducing the risk of back injuries. It's important to discuss the various styles of squats. The first one is the classic squat, where we stand with legs shoulder width apart and arms at our sides. We inhale, push our hips back, and bend our knees to a 90 degree angle. Then we exhale and return to the starting position. Another type is the ply squat, which puts more emphasis on the gluteal muscles. For this, we spread our legs wider than shoulder width, turn our toes out at a 90 degree angle, and place our hands on our waist while bending our knees to a 90 degree angle. We've already mentioned the squat with a jump or squat jump. This style is used by sprinters or football players who need to run quickly. To perform this, we begin with the classic squat position and then jump explosively, immediately returning to the squat position as soon as our feet touch the ground. Let me know in the comments if you already include squats in your fitness routine or if you plan to start.